can't get cancer down. Um, I think we've all been made aware that, um, you know, with all this, uh, we're trying to sell off land that is not being used, etc. because we've got this 50 million pounds of cuts to make. So it's, it's, it's essential that we do look at everyone individually and try to do it if we can, try to sell it if we can. Um, that uh, piece of land is quite small, actually. It, it, it looks bigger in proportion on the map than if you just stand outside and, and see it. I mean, it is um, mostly overgrown with trees, nothing very attractive. Um, a lot of mess there. We've actually had the ground team cleaning it up. Uh, sorry, the payback team cleaning it up, cleaning it up a few times uh, because of that. Um, uh, Carl did mention that um, there's some uh, S106 money, um, but actually that proposal for the use of that is coming in the Deanhurst Park one. It's part of the De Deanhurst Park uh, report, uh, which is on the agenda tonight, um, because there was a skate park looted, um, which couldn't be accommodated in the park, um, but it can be accommodated on a site on Ings Lane, right opposite the new development, which is providing the S106 money. Um, and the proposal is that they pro pro the um, children's playground there be improved and the skate park added. And the amount of the S106 raised is just about the amount that's needed to do that job. So um, I would be opposed to trying to turn that small piece of land into, I don't know, for children to roam, to roam in. I don't think it's, it's nothing like as good as the, uh, the Woodlands project on Roach Valley. But it's, not, it's not the size of it at all. It's just very small. Um, so I'll be more uh, prone to uh, agree with selling, using that S106 um, for the skate park. So I wouldn't want to spend it on, on that land. So um, I think uh, also what I'd like to know is um, there's been two pieces of land, as you said, Chair, earlier on, that uh, we voted for disposal, but then uh, residents made a very strong case for the use, and the residents were prepared to maintain the land, uh, if you remember, and we sort of backed down on that, didn't we? You know, on, on Coldshore Road in particular, um, and one in Bamford. I don't know if that's been back then, but the Coppershaw Road one certainly has. So obviously the, there was an input from residents after um, this committee had agreed to go to disposal, and then we actually changed, changed it because of those um, objections and a very, very strong case from um, the public that they would maintain everything there themselves. So, um, you know, perhaps they, they can raise objections after we agree. If we agree tonight, then they can uh, perhaps put in, if there, really, there are strong objections, and people prepared to run the scheme, run the, you know, a scheme on that land, um, we might consider it, but then we've lost this money. So on balance, I would say that you know, I would favour the uh, disposal, an agreement to dispose tonight.